Alright, so we've decided to start a new series here in Edinburgh. It's gonna be Get Ventures in Edinburgh. I'm sorry if that's not inclusive of you, Simon. <laughs> anyway, the first one is gonna be here in the Hollywood Park, uh, which includes uh, somewhere there is Arthur's Seat, which is like the highest peak of the Hollywood Park's peaks. I don't know if you know about this, but basically, you know, there used to be a huge volcano in Edinburgh, and then this glacier. Is that how you pronounce it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm learning stuff. Kind of pushed the, the volcano into multiple peaks. Which one of them now is the Castle Rock, which is the Edinburgh Castle on it. And one of them is Arthur's Seat. And then there's also all of these like leftovers, like the Salisbury Crags, which is the one right behind me, which I like to call Gordon Ramsay's face. So now we've basically entered the park and we came from our house, but you will probably be coming from Royal Mile or like the center. This park is really close to the center, so you don't have to worry about that. It's like, I don't know, a kilometer away from the, the castle or something. Yeah, at, at most, yeah. Yeah, and there's uh, multiple ways you can take. We're gonna walk between sort of Arthur's seat and the crags, and then on top of the crags, and then probably down again. But like, if you're really badass, you can go. <laughs> and that's my energy spent. Now you can go up here. And this road is called the Radical Road. That thing is the Holyrood Palace. And that's where the Queen stays when she's in Edinburgh. So this is like my favorite part of this park. The sort of middle bit between the two peaks. And that's because like when you look at it, like you, you can't see any of the city. So it kind of feels like the Highlands. Is it a great loch? It's the biggest loch in Scotland. And I don't think that I mentioned that there's also a, a, like a castle over in there. Yeah, an old chapel from about the 11th century. There's always lots of drunk teenagers trying to uh, inhale each other's tongues up there. Yeah, we went there for like a romantic walk. And put in and a lot of other people. Yeah, there was like <laughs> 10 teenagers all drinking breakfast and then probably like mm -hmm. hand, uh -huh. hand uh -huh. sexing. Botanical breaks with cat. This is a gorse bush. Bush? <laughs> Gorse bush. God damn it, I just wanted to say that it took me five years to learn that it's a gorse. Well, you got and that then right. I forgot how to say the word bush. Well done, hon. But it smells like coconut ice cream. Mm, I probably inhaled some ants now. Well done. Bush. I would just suddenly get this like climb down anxiety and yeah like how are you doing hun well I'm not super happy but I think I can do it good I can do this there you go I'm the king of the world I can't guarantee 100% safety while you're here. Okay, 
time and I want to play a game. Okay. How many wizarding schools can you find? <laughs> what, just by pointing them out? Yep. Oh god, all of the spires. So there's a hell of a lot of them. Well, but they're all prep schools, I think, so. um... There's one? The one with the side spikes. Oh, that! Yeah. That too. Oh Jesus, that's the biggest Hogwarts. That's pretty gnarly. I think that also... No. I saw one before, but I lost it. I like to think the Scotsman building. Oh, like the Waverly. Yeah. Or um, Balmoral. All of them. <laughs> Palace again, and that weird thing next to it is the dynamic earth. Just behind that is the parliament building. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't really say anything about it, it's just weird. I can't say anything positive about it because it was a massive expenditure on our hard spent taxes. So, better or worse than the trams? Oh, equally bad. So I think that this is a really nice spot to either start your trip or end your trip. Just the little bird pond, even though you're officially not allowed to feed the birds, but you know, the rules are made to be broken. So we're trying to cut down on our obese swans in this area. So, well, what about what are those people doing then? Oh, flagrantly disobeying the rules. If you do want to go to Arthur's Seat and you feel like this might be too much of a hike, you can also drive to like midway. There's like a parking lot and another bird pond, which is kind of cute. And then from there up to Arthur's Seat, it's actually quite a short walk. And then you can walk down, you know, just downhill, just easy. There's also a path that goes right the way around the outside, which is yeah. quite nice. It's really, really easy. It's, um, yeah, that's a, I think that that's like the longest one, but like, you know, um, it, it's easy enough. If you have enough time, Take it's quite hour. a, yeah, it's quite a nice walk when you go, basically, you don't go up or like into the park. You just kind of walk around, but the path actually takes you almost all the way to Arthur's seat in a very, very kind of slow incline. So you don't really feel it like you're walking that high and then suddenly you're almost there. And at that point you can just make a decision like, do I feel like I have enough energy to actually walk to Arthur's seat? Or so. if you can't be arsed, you can walk right the way back around to here and there's generally an ice cream van. Okay guys, thanks for watching our adventures with Simon. <laughs> Let us know if there's anything else you want to see, uh, you know, from, from Edinburgh. We would be glad if we got some suggestions from you. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and like and love us forever. Bye! Bye guys. What does it smell like here? Uh, it's got a distinctly aquatic poop smell about it. <laughs>